hi and welcome to another video um on scratch and this is david l captain and today we're going to learn about variables so the variables in math are like a variable that you can um that you don't know and you have to figure out with equations the variable in scratch is like a variable that starts at zero and you can pretty much make it whatever you want it to be so in when we go to like wherever motion is probably where we are go to um, variables and you make click make a variable if there's already a variable in there called my variable delete it click make a variable so for all sprites is a variable for all sprites and for the sprite only a variable for the sprite only and a cloud variable so if you're going to share up this project you can um, if somebody else changes the variable it will stay like that um, with the cloud variable we're just gonna cloud variable so we're just gonna do for all sprites we're just gonna call this uh, variable and okay you can show the variable it's always starts at zero here with the check mark for the end or the you can uncheck it if you want to hide it or um, show it in the game you can have these two things here with drop down menus that will have a bunch of uh, different um, uh, variables if you make different variables so hide the variable and show the variable so that's pretty much what those blocks do uh, you can set the variable to whatever you want uh, say 5 sets the variable to 5 um, you can, but if you hit it again it just sets it to 5 um, if we change the variable by 5 no matter what it is it'll just change it by 5 so if you click the set variable to 5 it will just set it to, um, to 5 you can also make a set variable into a change variable although they already have a um, change variable so it there's no reason why you'd really want to do this but you can make a set variable into a change variable by setting the variable to variable plus whatever you want to change the variable by. So here it's a set variable but you can still make it change. Um, but they made it a lot easier with a change variable. So how are variables useful? If you have a bunch of different like numbers that you that you want to change at the same time all you have to do is change one variable and it changes all of them and that's super easy you just put the variable into whatever you want to change it to so like move this many steps and then move minus the same amount of steps then you can just ha put the variable in here and then have a times in here minus one in one of them and variable in the other one and then all you have to do is make it uh, change the variable to wherever you want it to be and then it will move that many steps and then move minus that many steps. So that's one way. Uh, here is another way of a uh, um, uh, code real fast. That's a pretty cool code. So what it does is um, here, I'll just show you. We're going to set, we're going to go to variables, set the variable to, oops, set the variable to like 10. And then we're going to repeat 10 times move variable steps so it's basically going to move 100 steps right so that's basically what it does except afterwards we're going to change the variable by minus one so the first time it's going to be 10 steps then 9 steps then 8 steps then 7 all the way till it gets to 0 because it's starting at 10 so it does 10 steps first and since it's repeated 10 times it stops at 0 so if we click the go looks close to a stop. If you want it to go and then like come back to where it is, you can just repeat 20 times and then it will start going negative. Because once it gets to zero, zero, it will still keep doing the loop and go to negative one, negative two, negative three. And I just keep doing that. If you had a forever loop, um, or we'll just do like a really big number instead of forever loop right now um, it falls all the way back so then you can see the variable changing 
Um, one more thing you can do with this variable thing is you can move it to wherever you want. And you can right click it and have the normal readout, which is this, large readout, which is this, and slide your um, readout, which is um, you can like put it to whatever you want to put it to inside the game. Um, so that's pretty cool. But you might not always want that. You want the variable to, um, you don't want the uh, the person to change it while it's in the game, so you just have like, a normal readout or a, a large readout. So, um, that's pretty much it. Thank, um, so thank you for watching this uh, video about variables, and I hope you learned a lot. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave that in the comments. And um, please remember to subscribe.